did you see that that picture on that tripod? Did you see that one? So you got to explain how this is the key gate and the key will be hanging from the ceiling and all that. Okay. And then you'll enter transportation plaza. Have you heard that yet? Let's go see transportation plaza. Okay, I know you've not been here before, so show of hands who else has been to Bush Gardens before. So, so good, good representation. If you remember, and I'll explain, there used to be a building right here that had retail in it, so you could buy gift shop things and there was a game. We torn all of that down so that we could have a plaza with seating, so this will be the sitting place. More importantly, when you leave the rest of Bush Gardens and come through this key gate, and inner Pantopia, right there, all eyes are going to go up to the top of Falcon Spirit. So we don't want any obstruction for the key point of, of Pantopia. So in here, uh, visitors from the past have brought their transportation here and abandoned it. So there might be a busted down Jeep, some little three-wheeled vehicle, and all of that's been left here, and we've changed it into remnants and themes. So transportation plaza, the sitting place. Let's uh, head on out. So, okay. But right now I feel a little hungry. So mm, a smoothie would be nice. How about a, a treat? So we're building a a new culinary operation here called the Lit Treat. So you can get something right off the bat if you're hungry. What's that smell? Let's go over here. I think I smell something. Good evening. Tea was opened in 78. We had all of the pink colors uh, that were kind of really reminiscent of what goes on in uh, the African areas. But we converted that to the Desert Grill in 2003. And we colored it with these kind of patterns. We're going to go one step further as part of Pantopia and break out rich colors and really make this pop. So there's rich theming, and we're, we're building the Dragon Fire Grill next to it. So we'll have show cooking out here where the meats will be being grilled, and you can smell that aroma here in Canto. But basically, look at how rich we're making all of this theming. And there's nothing better than adding a dragon and adding fire. You can have those two things, and everything's good. Dragon Fire Grill. I'm going to head to, it's called a pretzel, I think. One, two, three, four, five, seven, yay, we're all over there. When this opened in the 70s, this was actually an arcade. So kids could come in here, put their quarters in machines, and uh, and have gaming. We've now demolished it completely back to the walls, floor, ceiling, and this will be a pretzel area called Twisted Tail because two lemurs found this part of Pantopia, and the way they would sit next to each other and twist their tails reminded them of pretzels. So we're going to actually bake pretzels in here and have beer. And uh, this is uh, going to be a great place to come. And if the smoothies or the dragon fire doesn't get you this well. Now the, uh, the recipe is actually going to say it's our green bird. It will be. Yeah. Bird that gets addicted. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. So everybody's going to want a pretzel, have their beer, have a smoothie, and there may be even kettle corn involved. Let's see if we can find kettle corn. There are actually five rides on this side, starting at the Sand Serpent, the Phoenix, and we have the Bush Flyers, which was a, a kiddies ride that will reopen. Behind that, in that back corner, there's a motorcycle ride that will reopen, and then there's a train ride that's getting ex an expanded track, and it'll reopen. So all of those will come back as part of Pantone. And here is our grand caravel, our car, our, caravan uh, carousel. It's inspired by a Bedouin traveler 
that dealt with rugs and tapestries. So we'll have some of those that he left behind hanging within the grand car, car, caravan carousel. Too many hard seeds there. The other entry point you can come to Pantopia is from the Jangala area through a second key gate. So this will be highly themed and uh, that'll be our other way to come in. But behind me is the Timbuktu Theater, which will become the Pantopia Theater. Back in the 70s, it was actually a dolphin show that was converted to a 4D theater in 2003 where the seats would vibrate and move. And now we've converted it to a show that will have animals as the, as the actors. So dogs and cats and exotic pets will all be within this show. So let's go in and see what uh, Mr. Andrew's doing to our theater. Hurry, it out. Right, two more minutes, Mark. How many? Yeah. So this is where then the pet show that was over there, those animals will move over here? Some of them will. We'll have new animals. Uh, we'll have a new show. When this was a 4D theater, the focus was on a large screen and on the back wall. Now that the focus will be on the animals on stage, we found that the rake of the seats was not good enough. So we had to raise the back of this theater by eight feet. So that's the work that's going on right now so that everyone will have a good view of the cast that's going to be mostly animals and a few uh, trainers that are trying to get the animals to act and behave. So this is the new Pantopia Theater. Okay, we'll move back out the way we came. All of that will be filled in with dirt. And this will be the back of the house area. So where the big front end loader is will be an air conditioned uh, housing for our dogs and cats. If you know how we treat our animals in our company, you know that we take care of them. So air conditioning housing back here, There'll be bird cages in here uh, for our exotic pets. So. We talked about it, but uh, in the end we decided not. We even talked about having a falcon here out here and had a falcon side. Right. I mean, uh, yeah. but, uh, it's part of the discussion that we've ended up with. Sahara Snacks is gone. Sahara Snacks is gone. Sorry, this artist rendering left it out, so we got to tear it down there. This kettle corn, if you're hungry, will be this game that we retired, and a couple other games will support kettle corn. So if you come from Jangala and you're hungry, uh, this will be a place where you can grab and go your, your, uh, your uh, snacks and drinks. So this is kind of the end of the tour. How are we doing on time? About five minutes. Five minutes? So this would be a place where you could ask any of your individual questions. What was the inspiration um, for Pantopia? You saw like, you know, in the 70s, kind of that evolution. So what made it the time for Pantopia now? Well, probably as soon as uh, Cheetah Hunt was finished in 2011, we were working on our next ride attraction, which became Falcon's Fury. As we looked at, around Bush Garden, where would we put such a ride? We landed in Timbuktu, and we thought that the removal of the sandstorm and the upgrade to this Falcon's Fury would be a good, good, uh, best use of the land. 
then we started thinking, well, is there anything else we really should do? Should we call it a new land? Should we reclaim the whole area? Should we look at merchandising and culinary uh, opportunities? And once we started asking ourselves these questions, this is what we ended up with. And, and even the, the show uh, with the 4D theater losing its popularity, should we even bring in a new show to, to our new land? So that's, that's how we came about it. It's kind of an iteration of how do we make it better and better. And with the, all the color that you have, uh, plus the Florida sun, are you treating this, or is that going to be an ongoing painting uh, touch-up? I have 18 painters that paint all year round, so we'll be, uh, we'll be touching up forever. That's, that's what we do. How did you come up with the origin of the word Pantopia? I mean, was it just a group session, or is there a meaning behind it? Well, I wasn't involved in that, so but we did bring in creative people to, to try to kind of workshop that. Uh, sometimes these um, these processes start up with 50 names, dwindle it down to two or three of the best, then we do a little bit of maybe uh, further research into it, and then we pick up pick out the so, Do you like it or not? Hey. Once I got used to it, I, I it really caught on. Okay, I gotta well, say, good. I was hesitant at first, truthfully, but okay. it really caught yeah. on. I like it. We've, like we've heard it. Pantopia wasn't the first choice for the name. Do you no, know what the first there choice was another was? choice. I'm not sure what it was. Uh, I don't remember anything prior to Pantopia. There was a joke in the three. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was just a joke. Who has another question? The, uh, there's going to be some sort of painting or mural on the tower. Is that still planned? Uh, the, the tower. We originally the heard background. with some of the stories that were supposed to be like a mural, somebody was supposed to paint on it. Or? Well, the color scheme for the Falcon Skier starts out with the desert oranges at the bottom, goes to the sky, it's blue at the top. All of that will be a faded uh, uh, transition all the way up. So okay. it's not a hard line like you see right now. Okay. So they'll start they'll start fading the colors from. And, blend one to the other. So we're going to do that from the outside after we build a ring around so our painters can do that uh, safely. This park is uh, known, you know, for spontaneous shows throughout the park, you know, yes. like uh, your construction band, for example. Is there plans on getting something going around in the Well, Pantopia? I'm sure that we're, we'll look at those opportunities, and, and what you said is right. We are known for that. So we could put something in Jangala, we could put something at the front gate, we could do something right here. And I'm sure that at uh, certain times of the year when our park's crowded, we'll do that. We've had DJ zones here. Uh, we want to see how it works once we get a crowd in here because we believe everyone's going to be looking up. <laughs> and so is everybody going to be running into each other as they're wandering around Panatopia looking up? And I would say it's going to be hard not to look up when that thing is, is, is raised off the ground. Who has another question? Okay. For the painting that's going to be on it, what is it, like, what's the plan for me? Of the painting. Well, like I said, we got eight. <laughs> we'll have to get used to the heights if they are already. Huh? Well, the, the carriage actually is a work platform, so we can raise that carriage okay. and get to any point. I mean, we're not going to bring in lifts or scaffolding or anything else, but the carriage itself is, is not only for painting, but also for inspecting the bolts. So we have to inspect the outside every day. So all of our rides are inspected every day. So um, it's a daily? Part of it, every day. Now, not every, there are 6,000 bolts that hold the rings together. We won't expect every bolt every day, but we will be riding that and we'll notice the same thing every day. And we'll torque them once a year. We'll go through all 6,000 and torque them. Yeah. We asked Jeff the same question that I will ask everybody else. Is that other than spring 2014, any better estimate on That's a good answer. <laughs> spring 2014. We do have our date in at that time. We're not telling <laughs> You see, that's another chance we get to bring you out and give you a release. Well, SeaWorld and Bush kind of favors a certain time of the year, so might that be favoring that certain time again? I don't know. We're, we're full of surprises. So. Okay, we're wrapping it up. We're going to drop it back. Creative effort required to do a project like this. Like, when did this exactly start, like, from that initial spark? 
I would say pretty quickly after Cheetah Hunt opened, we were thinking about it. So that's a three-year process. I would think that uh, probably about a year and a half ago, about halfway through it, when we realized that we had sighted it here in Timbuktu, and we realized the impact it could have with our guests, both the riders and the ones that are not going to ride, but they'll be there to, to watch it, to see their friends or their kids ride it, we realized that we had to do something more. So pr probably halfway through it, then we started uh, thinking about the extras that we could do.